It is uh, said somewhere, and apparently I've said it, <laughs> that the Guru assesses the disciple, and based on that, he or she gives the mantra, which is slightly above. There is nothing called mantra being slightly above a disciple. A mantra is a mantra. It's not like that suddenly I can give you a very difficult mantra to chant and you say, this is above my level. So his question was, how do we then ascertain as a disciple if you are chanting um, in accordance with the mantra? Now, it's a non-question question in the sense that um, I don't remember saying anything like that. And there is nothing like that. But you can always gauge your own spiritual progress. Um, and to that effect, I have spoken uh, uh, only a few thousand times uh, in the last uh, 12 years, clearly not a million times yet. And the way to gauge is really to see how truthful you are in your life, how humble you are, uh, how honest you are and how much empathy you have in you. When you really, I mean, showing compassion or being kind to somebody, sometimes even that comes from a corner of ego. That somehow I'll help this poor person right here. Oh, I pity you, right? Uh, but empathy is something when you really put yourself um, in another person's shoes and see if they fit you well, then you can run off. <laughs> uh, because you're literally in their shoes and you know how they feel. Other, other than that, I mean, how do we really gauge? I think I hear a child again and it's very unfortunate. Um, because so many other people get disturbed um, when we have to hear another discourse in the middle of a discourse. And it leaves us with no other recourse. As you can see, we can't stay the course then. <laughs> then if you can't stay the course, you can't go to the source. So if you can't go to the source without any resource. So thank you. All right. We can close the door, thanks. So that's the only way to gauge your spiritual progress. And the other element is, do you feel devotion growing in you? Do you feel your concentration is improving? Because remember, some things cannot be attained with just more effort. Some great things take time and you cannot rush it. They will take the time they ought to take before they come to some form of realization or materialization or fruition. And usually what happens in adult brain is eager to see the results. They are thinking, I've chanted this mantra for two months or three months or three years now. Where are the results? Where are the results? If I'm doing it correctly, the results must be there. But some things will take time. You, you cannot rush it. Um, I read somewhere, which was in the context of creativity, uh, it said, it's like being pregnant. You cannot rush the pregnancy. I mean, it will take its own due course if you want a healthy baby uh, in this world. So diligence and continuously walking on the path uh, with some conviction while practicing a virtuous life, by leading a righteous life, is really the only way to not only gauge, but also progress on the path of spirituality. At least I don't know of uh, any other. There may be, but I remain unaware.